Hello, everybody. It's Ellen Trom, your Pampered Chef Consultant, uh, coming to you from my kitchen tonight with a fun, uh, easy, fast, delicious recipe uh, that just is great for summer cooking. So um, I am going to be using our double burner grill pan. I've got it here. And I'm going to tell you what I have already done. You can see one part of the pan I already used. I already cooked. I grilled some chicken instead of running out to my grill, waiting for that to heat up, yada, yada, yada. I just did it right here on my stovetop in my double burner grill pan. We do have a single burner grill pan, but the... The beauty of the double burner grill pan is I can do one thing on one end and one thing on the other and only have one pan to wash. And I gotta tell you, this can go in the dishwasher, but it's kind of bulky. So I choose to wash it in the sink and it cleans up like a dream. So chicken cooked with some lemon garlic rub on it. I actually put it in the freezer that way after I cut it with the clothes and cut, cut it thin, seasoned it up, and then I uh, put it away in the freezer and then last night I just pulled it out and it was all ready for me to grill for my wraps today. Um, you could do if you want to, just like I do a lot during the school year. I actually batch cook a lot in this pan and um, I, you know, I'll cook three pounds of chicken tenders all at once. Let them rest, cut them up, put them in little snack bag baggies, then they're ready for either salad or if I want to throw them in a leak-proof glass container, I can do that. And then I, um, I can also, I, you know, and then just add a vegetable with it or if I roasted potatoes because I felt like it or whatever, then I've got a whole little lunch that's not necessarily salad either. And I just have to assemble things instead of cooking anything. So it's terrific. So chicken's cooked. I'm going to tell you what I did. I put a cup of basil and a clove of garlic in our manual food processor and then two cups, two thirds cup of mayo. Okay. Mix that all together because that's going to be our glue. I took our adjustable coarse grater and grated some mozzarella cheese, just a regular brick from the store. Did you know that a brick of, an eight ounce brick of cheese will give you almost an extra cup of cheese versus buying shredded cheese already? Yeah, pretty cool. Also, don't wanna to touch the cheese while you're grating it with your fingers. So peel back uh, the um, wrapper and just keep that on there. Just keep peeling it back like you do your fast food sandwich. But the reason you don't wanna touch the cheese is because if you're gonna keep this half brick, you're gonna to wanna to wrap in plastic wrap really tight, get all the air out, put it in a Ziploc bag. But if you touch the cheese, then it's gonna still mold faster in your fridge. So save some money, don't touch the cheese, and use a brick and shred it yourself. I can shred the whole brick in it less than a minute. Why wouldn't I? It tastes better, melts better, it's terrific, okay? Um, and then, um, and I love, the, I love the, our new graters because uh, they have these easy buttons on here. But this is what I did the Parmesan cheese with is our little fine grater zester here. And they also fold out flat so you can just like grate right over the bowl if you want. So, what I have done then, oh, and we're just going to leave that stand up, whoops, um, but then I mixed my diced chicken, I cut it about in little half inch pieces, my mayo mixture and my cheese together, okay, so this is our filling, pretty easy, and you could even make this the night before if you wanted to, or grill up the chicken if you're grilling out on the grill, grill extra for this recipe. And then I've got some tomatoes. Looks like I gotta pat them dry again here uh, because we don't want our wrap being all juicy and you're gonna see why in a minute, okay? So I'm gonna take these tomatoes and kind of put them in the middle of my wrap, just like that. I'm gonna swing the camera there so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna put, um, I already made one of these wraps Oops, I forgot to turn, turn my grill pan on. So good thing I have one done already. So I can show you what it looks like. Um, but we want to preheat the grill pan. Uh, anytime you use it, you want to preheat the grill pan. Uh, I think I'm going to take some of this off. I have a feeling my wrap's going to be a little full. And then we're going to have a mess. We don't need a mess. Okay. And I think I'm going to 
try and scooch this tomato up here a little bit. Scooch it all together here in the middle. And then we're gonna put their basil wraps, so they're gonna have a lot of basil in them. So we're gonna put another leaf of basil. How many of you have an arrow garden? This was in my arrow garden. I love my arrow garden. I don't have to, it tells me when to water it, and it just grows like wildfire. So I've been having lots of basil lemon water and putting basil, and because I've got Thai basil, regular basil, di fresh dill, parsley, um, and fresh mint. And it's been great. I've been loving it. So, um, and I'm not throwing away my little packages. So that's the whole reason I wanted one. So then we're going to turn the, oops, we're going to put on a little bit more tomato. I'm looking for my drier ones. They've been sitting here. I did another video with this just, just a few minutes ago. Okay. So then you've got that there. Okay. And we're going to do this burrito style. Okay. We're just going to fold it up just as if it was a burrito. And you kind of want to pull these ends in so that it's kind of on the diagonal so that it all gets tucked nicely. And some of these 11 inch tortillas are a little thicker than others. This particular brand happens to be a little on the thin side. And you can squish it up here a little bit if you want so that it's a little bit more round. But there we go, okay? So, I'm supposed to let this pan heat up three to four minutes. But you wanna put the seam side down first. So get that situated in your hand, and then I'm gonna pop this in here, and we're just gonna wait um, uh, about three minutes, okay? And then we'll turn it, okay? I've got it on like a power burner so it won't take very long. And the cheese gets all melty and it's wonderful and I'll get, I'll get the finished product here in a minute. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about what I do with this pan. So I batch cook in it. You heard me say that. I also um, make like, I, I batch cook things like meatloaf because this pan goes in the oven. You can make little football sized meatloafs about that big, about that thick, and have about 14 of them. And so then you have some to, uh, to eat for dinner, have for lunch, and put in the freezer for another painless meal, okay? You can also probably roast two to three whole chickens in here at one time. Just make that your mission for an afternoon. Pick all the meat off, put it in recipe sized portions. You're ready for casseroles, dips, soups, and then make uh, some bone broth in a pressure cooker or on the stove top with the bones and some potato, carrot, and onion. And you have gotten a lot of mileage out of those chickens, which it's a cheaper way to make chicken. Um, and it's gonna be delicious and it's budget friendly and it saves you a ton of time for like a month to six weeks, okay? So do some menu planning. I'm kind of bad at the menu planning. Who else is with me? That's something I need to work on because I end up throwing a lot away because I, I like have a loose plan in my head and then it doesn't come together for some reason. So I feel like if I had it all written down, I would throw less food away. I would save money at the grocery store and we would eat better. So if you're interested in like more ideas for that, make sure you give me a holler and we'll see what we can do to um, do more posts about that here on my business page. But this plan of uh, batch prepping the, the chicken can be your salvation. You prep once, you wash once, and then it goes in the freezer already cooked. And um, I love that idea. And then you pull it out for a simple recipe like this that you can do in the grill pan that literally takes 15 minutes, uh, 20 tops, and you've got dinner on the table. This uh, grill pan and press set comes, uh, or it comes with two presses because it's double, okay? And I love that if I'm making fajitas, I can do the chicken on one end, get that started while it gets its head start. I can slice my onions and peppers, then throw those in the pan, and in 20 minutes I can have, you know, a, a fajita Friday instead of Taco Tuesday and not be spending my life in the kitchen, okay? And so lots of fun stuff with this pan. Ooh, one more thing. How many of you like dessert? How many of you feel guilty eating dessert? 
I have a guilt-free dessert to share with you. Um, uh, pineapple, okay, hang on. I gotta flip my wrap here. And I'm gonna try and do that with my tongs here. So hang on, can you guys see? I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. Okay, so when you put that seam side down, then it stays together better. And see how nice and toasty? And the grill marks, awesome. And then I just put this on here for another three minutes and they're done. Cut them in half and you're ready to go. So, and, and really half of one of these is a really good size sandwich. But first my dinner, or my dessert idea. Okay, get yourself pineapple, core it, whether it's with the Pampered Chef, uh, apple or pineapple wedger or not, but peel it, core it, get your rings. Our little core, our apple for coring apples works great to get the center out. Save that little, little piece of core, put it in the freezer, use it for a summer drink as an ice cube. It's terrific. And then um, grill your pineapple. You don't even have to put anything on it. Just pop it in the hot pan. While you're doing that, um, go ahead and uh, cut up an angel food cake, brush some melted coconut oil over it, grill it for a minute, two minutes tops probably, on each side after the pineapple's done. Have your plates ready so that it's kind of warmish. Have your whipped cream made ahead of time or you could serve it with ice cream. Uh, and I always have a little toasted coconut and then you just layer it. Cake, uh, Cake, pineapple, whipped cream, toasted coconut, and if you want to get fancy, a cherry on top. And you've got a pretty summer dessert. Doesn't take you very long to put together at all, and it is divine. Every time I serve it, everybody is just like, whoa, how'd you do that? And it's so blooming easy. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great week. We're halfway through the week, almost to the weekend. Hang on, everybody. And if you're curious about this double burner grill pan, visit my website at www.pamperedchef.biz, B-I-Z, forward slash Ellen Trom. And uh, just type double burner grill pan in the search. I'm going to pop the recipes for uh, these wraps because there's uh, uh, three different styles of them in the comments for you here in a few minutes. And then uh, let me know what questions you have. And I sure would appreciate it if you found this uh, video interesting and helpful. Please share it. Have a great night, everybody.